Good morning. Good morning. What do you want for breakfast? Nothing. I'm fasting until two o'clock. Oh, is that the diet for this week? Well, keto didn't work last week, so this week I'm going to fast. Have you ever heard of a calorie deficit? I've heard of it online, but no one ever explains how to actually do it. There's basically three ways to lose weight. You could restrict a food group, like keto, what you did last week. You could do a time restriction, like you're doing this week, fasting. Or you could be in an overall calorie restriction. But the first two, food group restriction and time restriction, only work if you're in an overall calorie restriction. So if the third one is present. So you're saying instead of fasting and cutting out foods I love, I could just be in an overall calorie restriction throughout my day while still eating the foods that I like at eight o'clock at night? Basically. Do you want me to show you how to calculate your own calorie deficit? Sure, but does that mean I can eat breakfast first? Yeah, you can have breakfast first, but then meet me at the whiteboard. Welcome back to the whiteboard. In today's session, we're gonna go over how to calculate your own calorie deficit that's actually going to work this time. Why is it gonna work? Because we're gonna separate this into six simple steps that you're gonna do over the course of the month. Now I know you are impatient, but listen, you've been on this fitness journey for so long. Give me one month to prove to you that this can be your last diet. Step one is for one week, we are gonna trial track. You're gonna download my fitness pal, the free version, and you're gonna track every single thing you eat, even those little bites that you think don't count at night, but they're actually gonna count this week to get one week of normal eating. You're not gonna change a thing because we can't change what we don't understand. You're gonna be a scientist this week and you're gonna collect all of this data so we have so much information. Step into the next month to see real progress. Step two, after trial tracking for a week, we're gonna do some classic middle school math and whip out our calculators and find the average from your trial period. Adding each of the seven days total calorie intake dividing it by seven. Once you find that number, I want you to write it down and stick it in your back pocket and save it for later. Step number three, which can be done on the same day that you find that average, is gonna be finding your TDEE. What the heck is that? Total daily energy expenditure, the amount of calories that you burn throughout the whole day eating, sleeping, farting, burping, fidgeting, working out, all the things. Those are all the calories that you burn throughout the day. And you can use a simple online calculator at tdeecalculator.net. Is the calculation gonna be perfect? Absolutely not. No calculator is going to be perfect at telling our very complicated body exactly how many calories it burns every single day, but it's a perfect place to start. If you're stuck at what your activity level should be on the online calculator, pop a comment on this video of how many steps you get, how often you work out throughout the week, and how active your job is, and I can let you know what category you should probably be in. This calculator is going to give us our maintenance number. This is the amount of calories that we need in the day to stay the exact same weight, which is not our goal, but we just need to know this number. So I want you to write it down and keep it out for the next step. Step number four is going to be over the course course of two weeks, you're taking that number out of your back pocket from step two that we calculated the average number and comparing that number with your maintenance calories that we calculated at number three. Now look at those two numbers and we have to bridge the gap. So if your average number is way higher than your calculated maintenance number, over the course of the two weeks, we're gonna to try to eat less and less to meet that maintenance number each day. If your average number was way lower than the maintenance number, we're gonna to try to eat more and more over the next two weeks to hit that maintenance number. During this time, it's also gonna help you practice actually tracking your food accurately. Using a food scale and being honest with yourself with what you're actually eating. I know you're already annoyed at me that you have to eat at maintenance for the next two weeks and you're not in your deficit yet, but in the meantime, I'm gonna give you a protein bowl because this is also gonna be a huge driver in the progress that you see. For your protein calculation, all you're gonna do is eat one gram per pound of goal body weight. So if you're 175 pounds and your goal body weight is 145 pounds, you're gonna try to eat 145 grams of protein. All right, you made it through those two weeks. We're finally at week four and it's time to subtract 300 calories to put you in a real calorie deficit. I want you to stick to that 300 calorie deficit for six weeks before I hear a peep of complaining out of you that this doesn't work. If you do this, you will see and feel and notice changes in the next six weeks. I also have a full calorie deficit 101 podcast. It's called Strong with Julie on Apple and Spotify podcasts. And I hope it helps.